Hey cuties, hope all of you are having a great week. Um, it is Monday, so today is, again, Makeup Monday. Um, <clears throat> I was gonna do, well, I guess I should kind of explain a little bit. Um, how I see Makeup Monday is it encompasses everything beauty, so hair, makeup, obviously, um, skincare, stuff like that, so, um, it's not just gonna be makeup, so if that's what you're expecting, I'm sorry, but it's gonna be more than just makeup. Um, I will try to incorporate more makeup and do some tutorials and stuff like that once I get the setup the way I want it. So, but until then, these are just gonna be kind of random videos, whatever, of random stuff. I was gonna do one about laser because I was supposed to have my laser appointment today, but I couldn't just because um, we took Timmy to the vet and I helped, um, I helped um, pay for his surgery. Um, and now he is currently still at the vet. We get to visit him tomorrow, and we will see him. He hopefully will be home on Wednesday or Thursday. Um, so right now he had his surgery, so now he has three legs instead of four. So it's a little bittersweet, because um, I know it is the right thing to do for him, that he's going to be happier and healthier and not in pain. But I'm used to my dog with four legs, so it's just kind of you know, a little hard to get used to, so it's just some adjusting on my part. Um, before I continue, the fragrance of the day is Lolita Lempeca, I think it's called. Um, it's the original one, I believe. Um, it looks like an apple. The packaging is super cute. And um, the spray for the packaging is actually the stem on the apple, so... oh. And it's like a flowery, sweet smell, and kind of musky. When I smelt it in the in the store, I thought it was pretty musky, but trying it at home, it's definitely not as musky as I thought, so I'm kind of glad I bought it. Usually when I go buy fragrances, um, I'll try what I like, and then if I like the designer or sometimes if I like the packaging which isn't the way to buy fragrances people do not buy fragrances based on packaging but I don't know I guess I'm guilty <laughs> uh, because you might not know if you like it so um, but whatever I bought it based on the packaging and um, I thought it was cute and they have another packaging for one of her other fragrances that looks like a heart or something and I think that's really cute that's the one I really want um, but yeah, I bought this and I was like, I'm not sure it smelled okay, like I could get into it, but I wasn't really, really sure. And then um, I brought it home, I smelled it, and I'm like, well, after a few days of having it, I smelled it and I'm like, you know what? It does smell a lot different than it was in the store. And one of the things that I do notice is like sometimes I'll buy a fragrance and it smells one way in the store, but when I put it on myself, it smells differently, like it's a scent that I prefer. So, um, yeah, like, um, so that's why, so I actually liked it. I didn't, at first at the store, I was kind of in between and after smelling it like on me and whatever and spraying it a little bit, I like it a lot more. It's sweet, it's floral, it has a little musky undertone, but it's not overbearing. Um, Okay, the other thing, I was, like I said, I was going to talk about laser, but I'm going to save that till when I have a laser appointment, because then you guys can kind of see the, the, whatever, the redness and all that stuff. Also, um, I don't know if you guys want to see my actual, like, appointment at the laser office, like if you want to see me go in and all that stuff, but let me know in the comments below and I could definitely arrange that, but let me know with some time so I could, I could cue that up and see if it's okay with my laser technician or whatever. Um, moving on, I was gonna, um, this video is actually about skincare, it's gonna be really quick because I don't want to make a super, super long video. So, um, let's see, um, most of my products are from the body shop, I will list them below um, in the comments, so check that out. So the first item is the tea tree skin cleansing cl wait bleh. the tea tree skin clearing facial wash and I use this every morning and every other day when I don't use the scrub um, the next product is 
the tea tree black exfoliating blackhead the tea tree blackhead exfoliating wash and it looks like this and I'll use this Sunday Wednesday Friday so Sunday Wednesday and Friday I will use this in order to like really get in there and scrub all the dirt out and all that stuff um, all the tea tree lines are very like mentholy and minty and like they're very soothing and very like tingly if that makes sense because it's like I don't know if you've ever used a product with mint in it but that's what it feels like a product that has mint in it and when you use it you feel like very refreshed and clean so that's what I like about it um, and then on Sundays I do use a mask and the mask that I use is actually the tea tree face mask and it's also from the body shop the three products I've shown so far from um, the tea tree line are from the body shop it looks like um, I don't know if you can see it it looks like a uh, there we go it looks like a clay and you just put a thin layer that's so much product that comes in here and with all of these I put just such a little amount like I just put one drop of the wash one drop of the exfoliating scrub and it's so much product it goes such a long way so um yeah I recommend that and then the days that I use the scrub I'll also use um, afterwards after washing my face and doing the scrub and once I pat dry my face I'll use the alpha hydroxy face cream overnight and it's um, 8% HA of 70% solution it looks like this it's from Walgreens it's from their studio 35 beauty line so it leaves my face very like soft and supple and it just like I feel like it hydrates so so much um, let me see if it says anything here about this um, studio alpha hydroxy is a fragrance free skin treatment and gentle exfoliator to help restore a fresh healthy and more youthful appearance alpha hydroxy acid removes dead skin cells assists with tone and skin texture so it's just like an added exfoliating it leaves your face so smooth and so soft I absolutely love it so you guys gotta check it out um, for moisturizer I use the body shop aloe soothing moisturizer lotion in SPF 15 and again I use just a small drop with skincare it really is just a small amount that you have to use and what is my hair doing here why do I look like a peacock um, it is such a small amount that you have to use when you're using skincare products just so that you guys know um, you never need to go overboard if you do put too much you're gonna be there forever washing that shit off your face so just use a little bit um, as for acne like when I do have like little pimples or whatever I'll use again the Walgreens maximum strength benzoyl peroxide gel I'm just using this till it's done um, before this I would use um, a Neutrogena one so I'm just using this till it's done and then I'm gonna see like what else is out there for me to try out um, and then if I ever feel like my face is super dry and I don't think that the lotion's gonna do anything for it or isn't gonna moisturize it as much as I want um, I've mentioned this before it's the Johnson & Johnson baby oil locks in up to 10 times more moisture it looks like this it's the pink bottle um, is it fragrance free it doesn't say if it's fragrance free but it does it does have a mild smell to it a clean smell like it does smell like baby but not too much like oh my god you're gonna smell like a baby and after a while the smell goes away or like whatever lotion or whatever you have like masks that smell so um I do like it I use it on my body I use it on my legs and I use it on my face and my skin's so soft after I use it it's amazing so yeah so those are all the products I had for you guys today I'll list them in the comments below um, remember if you guys want to see um, me actually getting the laser treatment um, again leave those in the comments below if you're interested in that um, Friday is gonna be the high heel or shoe well I don't know why I did this but um, the high heel slash shoe thing for transgendered people or for for just people that want to wear heels um, 
that video is going to be up on Friday, hopefully on Friday. And then on Wednesday, I do have a topic I want to talk about. Um, just so that you guys know, it's probably going to be religion because as you guys know, my parents are really religious and I'm having issues with them right now. And so it's going to be addressing kind of what I'm dealing with them at the moment. So stuff to look out for for this week. Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share if you dare. And I hope all of you have a great week and I will catch you all later. Bye guys.